Hey everybody, it's Heisen Nerd here, alongside. Hey Cora. We are back with Saturday Hall number 22. Um, if you don't know what our Saturday Halls are, this is just where we go around throughout the week collecting things, and then we save them for tonight, and we open it all up for, you know, for the first time, so you can see it for the first time along with us. Uh, we get the mystery minis and the pop vinyls and, you know, just random things here and there. Um, so, first things first, I was just uh, scrolling through eBay uh, about a week and a half ago and happened to find two minis that I didn't ever think I'd be able to get. It's um, two, the two that I did not get in the Ant-Man um, Collector Core. It's the Unmasked Ant-Man Mini and the Yellow Jacket um, Ant-Man Mini from the exclusive, you know, the exclusive boxes. You only got two per box, so Alicia got the exact same ones. We both got the regular and the blackout Ant-Man. So I found these two for a really awesome deal, and I couldn't pass on them, so I had to get those to finish the set, so now I have all four. That was really awesome. I, I've been finding some excellent deals on eBay lately. All right. And we ended up doing a trade through one of the Facebook groups for another mini, and this is for Alicia's collection. <laughs> It's, um, yeah, the 1 in 36 Clear Predator from Sci-Fi Series 1 Mystery Minis. Uh, we ended up trading just one other. It was a 1 in 36 for 1 in 36, but we definitely had to have this for her collection. So, absolutely love that, and now I need to get me one. So, hopefully I can find a Clear Predator one of these days. So, that's really awesome. Um, all right, do you want me to go ahead? Oh, you go ahead and do one of your pops. We ended up doing an Amazon order. And unfortunately, both of her pops that came um, are mangled. mangled. <laughs> One box was destroyed, and the other box was kind of destroyed, and the figure was all like, it was loose. it was a marvel. So at the bobblehead, and it was like loose in the box. So I think the spring like warped, and now the head's kind of. But it's my. Uh... It wouldn't stand up, so we had to take it out. This is one of the rare Early occasions witch, so. where we take it out, and I had to make a stand for yeah, it. Yeah, she didn't, like, her head's all forward and everything, so, but I'm not going to go through the hassle of, like, sending it back. Yeah, so. I don't want to take it, the head off and mess with the spring or anything, so I made a stand for but it. But there she is, and she's pretty cool. I like her little stance and, and her outfit. And the benefit of her looking down is we have her so high up on the shelf that you, you can't really tell from she's up She's even got a bunch of little rings on her fingers. She <laughs> She was an awesome character in Age of Ball, yeah. If you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. But um, she was one of the later releases in the Marvel Age of Ultron um, pop vinyl. She came out after they released the whole other set, and now GameStop has that Black Widow exclusive with the shield that we. Did you see it? I didn't see it today. We haven't found it yet, but I definitely want to get it when I when I do see it. Okay, so next one I'll do, this was another part of the order, to go with Ash from Army of Darkness. I picked up the Deadite, and I actually picked up the last two horror pops, excluding the Universal Monsters, because that's next. But now I don't have to worry about getting any more of the actual horror pops. So if you can guess what the other one is, it's the last one that I need. And I just watched that movie next one that's coming up. I've seen Army of Darkness a lot. I love these movies. And he is really cool. It's the Deadite from Army of Darkness. And he comes, I don't know if it's, it came with a little, a little piece of plastic. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be connected. I thought it'd be connected because of his feet, but he's got a cape. Normally pops with capes stand up pretty good. I'm assuming yeah, no. Okay, yeah, it did break off because oh, there's okay, a piece so of plastic. He had a hole it. in his foot, and the piece of plastic, the prong that was supposed to go in, was supposed to, you know, stand up like that. But he does still stand, so that's cool. I, I don't even know if I'll mess with this. If he doesn't stand like on a regular basis, I might, you know, where I have my my horror collection, I might super glue it back they on. Don't but just do these for like a whole. Well, I'm surprised it came broken because my box came in really excellent condition. So that's. Uh, I think our box got roughed up though, and you're just just in the right spot. So he just vibrated. You think yeah, the vibration probably. or something? That's okay though. So yeah, Deadite to go with my Ash figure. So cool. I wouldn't mind having an army of these to be <laughs> honest. That would, that would be one of the cool like uh, if they made him in Mystery Mini would have been cool. All right. I'll pull this aside. 
The next, right, one, next one, one that I got, up. this completes my uh, Breaking Bad set, 100%. Oh, yeah. So this is a uh, Beanie Jesse. There's a few exclusives that we won't be able to get our hands on, but right. she has all ten that are on the box, so that's awesome. And Blue Heisenberg, which is not on this box. This and box Crystal is Blue crushed Heisenberg. too. Like, yeah. Really bad. Amazon hasn't been packing their boxes as legit as they used to, so that's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, it really matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the plastic is all. But smashed. he's cool. This is a. Uh, this is kind of Jesse, like what season, like. One and two. Yeah. I would say that's like Captain Cook, Jesse. Yeah, he's got his <laughs> wad of cash. With his chili pea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he's got his little tattoo showing and everything. That's awesome. So he's got his cash. I didn't yeah, even notice he's, he's got, he's got, got his a lot of cash. Out. That's awesome. I um, I absolutely love, obviously, by the name. But we are big Breaking Bad fans, and it's been a little bit since we've watched it. I mean, I know Better Probably Call Saul season two is coming out soon, but yeah, definitely wouldn't mind rewatching that series. Excellent series if you haven't seen it. All right, and then the last pop that we got in the order, the last one that I have is The Crow. And like I said, I just recently watched this movie and it's excellent and I love it. And so I had to get the pop to go with my uh, my mystery mini from Horror Series 2. I wouldn't mind getting the Hot Topic Crow um, mystery mini as well. That'd be awesome. But, <coughs> oh man, a little, Eric, cool. little Eric Draven. Um, I like the way his face looks. It's too bad I wasn't able to get my hands on the glow in the dark because he almost looks like he should. Yeah. But 133 and like the horror, the pop movies, but they're all on their own. So you get like a little bit of box art from the movie cover, or I would assume that's the movie cover, but it's the crow, oh. the crow icon. I caught it. But he is awesome. I love him so much. If you haven't seen the movie, I definitely recommend this too. Awesome movie. Okay. So that was like an eBay, Facebook, Pop Vinyl, you know, trade haul and all that. What we traded. And I found these on eBay and got our Pop Vinyls. So we'll move these aside. And next up. Oh no. I'm sorry. We got one more Pop Vinyl. It's six inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this. It is my Alduin. <laughs> Since Amazon couldn't come through with the nine ninety nine, right? I just went ahead and paid for it. We got him at GameStop. GameStop. But he's so cool. I was just playing Skyrim before we were doing this video. Yeah, I just uh, <laughs> my game slaughtered him, so out of game is no more. They need to make a Parthenax. Parthenax would be awesome. This guy's so cool. I'm so excited! Wow, oh, he's awesome. He's enormous. Yeah, he was he's the box really is heavy. really heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's going right up with the uh, the dragon that Samantha Matson um, Lilith Morning made for us. Like yeah. um, going right up there with him. That is he's super cool. That is so awesome. That's like one of my new favorites. Uh, I, I love think. his <laughs> color scale, the like the, the gray and the black and the red eyes. Man. The one she made looks just like uh, Halloween too. I know. That's all. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I gave it to her to put on her game shelf to go with like Skyrim figures, and now we've got Halloween, the main bad guy, like the boss dragon of Skyrim. But it's too bad because Amazon had him on sale for nine ninety nine a few yeah. months ago, and then we had it pending until the point it just we had to cancel it. So that's okay. Only a few dollars more, and like he's definitely worth it. Super heavy. Really awesome. Man, that is sick. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see that up on the shelf. Okay, now I jumped to the gun ahead before, but those were the pop vinyls. Now we, how many did you get? I just have one. You just have one. I had stopped by earlier this week, picked up a couple more of the Hot Topic um, Series 2 Classic Mystery Minis Horror. And then today, um, in the process of finding Halloween, we found, Alicia found a heavy Series 2 from GameStop, so we're assuming that it could be either the werewolf that you need or maybe a Cthulhu. So, um, you want me to go ahead and go first? Sure. Uh, I went heavy last week first, as I knock everything over. I'll go with the lighter one. Yeah, let's go with the lighter one. They're both kind of light. 
I just went with the next two. I think this was the same case actually that I picked from last week, so could be exciting, maybe not. I just it was just spur of the moment. We had a little bit of extra time, so we stopped by the mall. So I'd really love to find that 3D Gremlin, that exclusive. He is so awesome. Alright. And Oh, okay. I know who this is. This is a duplicate, one that we both already have, but he's still really cool, and he's actually, he's a 1 in 24, so he's not a common, he's not as common. Oh, gosh. Huh? He's cool. He's definitely one that I'll, I wouldn't mind, you know, I don't mind having to, oh, okay. uh, and it's the, uh, the Nosferatu, so... That's not bad. We both already have him, so he'll he'll just be in our trade pile, our double pile. But definitely not one. It's not, at least we didn't get like a fifteenth fly. That's what I thought when you said it was a one in twenty-four. I was like, oh no. It's the no, one when one. I I thought it was the fly at first because just just because we got so many last week. But nope, got no spratu. All right, this one was kind of heavy. Oh yeah, you said that. So. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed that it's something one of us needs. One of them is something new... that you need for sure. She has regular, I have glow in the dark Cthulhu, and she needs the wolf as well. I think those are the heaviest ones in, in the horror series too. Maybe Ed. Hopefully it's not Ed. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh no, I know what it is. It's definitely what we thought it was. <laughs> is it Cthulhu? Yeah, it's like a Cthulhu. One of them? And it's, I think it's a regular. It's, it's a regular, regular Cthulhu. Regular Cthulhu is one in twenty-four as well. That's cool. So so far we don't have any doubles. Um, I'm sorry. Any any we do have two doubles. I don't have the regular one, so we'll figure that out. No Sprouty was a double, but we don't have any commons yet. No one in twelves, so that's not bad. And since I said that, I probably shot myself in the foot, but that's okay. Let's see what we got anyway. This is the last one. This is also a hot, like the Hot Topic exclusive possibility. They have the um, the zombie Ed, the crow with the guitar, and then the 3D gremlin that I really like to have. So let's see what we got. There's still a couple in the actual series that we need too. So <coughs> might not be all bad. Um, okay. Oh, sweet. This is definitely one that I needed. I traded it away, and now I got it again. Oh. <laughs> and I, um, I have the other two that will go along great with it. Oh. It is Sean. <laughs> I ended up trading my Sean for a Freddy Krueger from Series 1, so that was an awesome trade. And I knew eventually I'd get another one back, so yeah. I got Sean from Shaun of the Dead with his bloody cricket bat and everything. His, um, his suit with the red on it. I love that. You, you got red on you. <laughs> But yeah, so I got Sean. We do have the extra Nosferatu, so if anybody's looking for that, maybe we can trade. And then we got the awesome Cthulhu. So, like I said, I did get the 1 in 12 after I said we wouldn't, but it was something that I needed, so that's awesome. All right. So what is your favorite item? Definitely this. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. He's awesome. He is awesome. That was like a really cool hot vinyl. The six inches are so cool. I was so happy to be able to finish like these. Like now I have all four, and I'm glad that I don't have to order any more the horror because like you know I do consider Crow Crow is in the horror like minis and everything. So horror and horror, no more horror. I don't need to do that. I just need to focus on Universal monsters. I'm jealous of this, but this is actually my favorite as well. Like the six inch out of uh, out Halloween. Yeah, I almost said Parthenax. <laughs> yeah, six inch Halloween is really cool. They need to make a Parthenax. Yeah, he would be like brown. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> his head is so um, big and scaly yeah. too. Yeah, and he's got like the big uh, whatever those the horns or whatever. Yeah, he's got some horn like awesome horns too. Um, so yeah, that was Saturday haul number twenty two. So yeah, tell us what your favorite item was. What you thought? Hit that thumbs up. It always means a lot. And uh, this is Heisen Nerd out. See you later.